to. We're going to shoot again in today's video. I'm out at the local neighborhood pond again. It's pretty sunny today. A little bit warm. We're around 60 degrees. Very windy and a lot of chop on top of the water. As you can see here, I just noticed that when I got here. And in today's video, I brought out two rods. My medium heavy bait caster, which I already have on a spinner bait. Didn't know it'd be so windy. That's one of the best lures to throw in very windy conditions. It's also a bit cloudy. We gotta remember, last time we were out here, not last time, but one of the times I was out here with Alex, it was very cloudy and June bug really did the trick. My other rod is my drop shot rod. I'm thinking of throwing around this little, I forget the name of it. It's a yum drop shot lure. That's a very nice color right here, chartreuse and brown. Hopefully you can hear me over all the wind. I'm gonna rig this on. I'm gonna start off by throwing the spinner bait and then I'll try the drop shot and we'll go from there. You guys stay tuned. I feel like I never really showed a lure change. Again, sorry for the noise, but I'll show the lure change here. I'm gonna leave this out here so it can dry. I won't put it back in the box just yet. But I'm thinking I'm gonna try this jackhammer here. I have caught fish on it before here. I've had a bunch of follows on this one here. This is a little bluegill pattern. I believe I have caught a couple of bass on this one, but my first time trying the jackhammer and I mean, it got bites quick. I haven't fished this one that much, but I'm, I think I'm at about four bass on it. Which is pretty good. It's a little shad pattern. It does have that hunting action that people describe. like this i like to throw my chatter baits and my spinner baits without trailers we'll try that real quick you guys stay tuned there goes the chatter bait pretty good casting distance this wind is crazy you guys let's see come on fast go for the chatter go for the chatter you got the chatter Got the flash. Really, it way too quickly. You saw it come right out of the water. Let's try it way out there. That's at the center. I'm gonna give it slack line. That's why I'm pulling line off the reel. You want to pump the rod too. You don't want that line just sitting here on the ground. We want it to allow that lure to sink as much as it can. tip down let's see let's keep it down there I can feel it moving boom 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 it goes side to side oh right here in front of me that bass was following it he was following it look at that making the right bait choice immediately I don't want to get hooked firm grip very cold bass he wanted that chatterbait look at that we barely tied it on i can't make this stuff up oh he's he's aggressive very skinny little guy but like i was saying that chatterbait was moving back and forth you can feel it on the line when they say it has a hunting action it really does you got to try one out and you'll see what i mean there he goes first bass of the day all right you guys I'm gonna try throwing around the drop shot a little bit. I think us catching one on the chatterbait was completely random. Wow, how did this happen? Oh, that must have been some line from the ground or something. Come on, bass, where are you? I haven't fished the drop shot in a long time. Let's see if they'll bite this lure. Never fished this lure. I've been wanting to buy these though, the yum drop shot lures. Put it in the description if it gets us a fish.
there we go. There we go. Nice. That's actually a good one. Oh, I'm keeping tension. I was just flumming it up. Let's flip him on in. Just flumming it up. He wanted it. Jeff, when I was thinking of switching out, look at that. Better than the last one. Hooked on the bottom. Pop that right out of you. Nice. Nice little bass. Bass number two of the day on a very windy day. Look at that nice fish. Let's let him back in. There he goes. All right, you guys. Last lure of the day. Black and blue football head jig with a little bandito bug junior trailer. That doesn't match. It's green pumpkin. It's, it'll do fine. Definite bite, you guys. Wow. Come on, bass. Let's see. They'll hit it again. got one we got one on the fall oh we pulled him right out look at that bass go He's swimming with the jig nice fish number three of the day he wanted that jig he bit it on the fall nice I'm glad we got our third fish that's exciting Let's put him back in. There he goes. Wow, we hit the bank. There we go. Something pick it up off the bottom. <laughs> that was pretty interesting. I fell right off the bank. It's a little one again. They're pretty fired up. Fish number four. They're all about the same size. Hooked on the side of the mouth. Two on that jig now. Let's put them back in. Nice little bass right there. There he goes. a blow up right here come on man they're feeding they're definitely pushing bait fish up against the bank or something kidding me they hit the lure and didn't get hooked that was a definite bite let's try that again i think they're right there right by those reeds come on bass you can feel when you bump the reed there we go there we go 
yes we got them pinned this is a good one this is a good one i got i got the tension on him <laughs> there we go that's what we're here for look at that look at that he was shallow you guys the jig was correct oh he's angry too he's angry that's a nice one i'm gonna say that's two something i don't know if i should weigh it we can weigh it real quick That was nice, that was nice. I kind of want to get back to fishing though. So how many, how many was it on the jig now? Three on a jig? It is a two, just like I said, two on the dot. Let's let him back in. Gotta turn off my scale real quick. That was nice. Let's let him back in. There he goes. All right, you guys, I'm filming the outro inside the house because it got dark outside pretty quickly. Anyways, I ended the day with five bass. That was pretty exciting. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> There's Cooper drinking water. I tried to film an outro and he started drinking water. This is the second take, but I'm just going to let him drink water. It's okay. Anyways, first fish of the day. I can't remember if it was on the drop shot or it was on the that jackhammer. I think it was on this lure here. That's the Z-Man jackhammer, 3 8 ounce. I believe that's a shad pattern. I'll put the color in the, in, in the description below and the size and the lures that I caught fish on today. But there's the first one, that Z-Man jackhammer. Here's the next one. I don't know the exact name of this lure. It's a yum drop shot lure. And I got this on the clearance bin, so it doesn't tell you the name. All that says is lizard assorted, but these aren't lizards. Pretty nice colors on this lure. I like it. And then that caught us one bass. I was reeling in the drop shot real quickly and a bass chased it up. They hit it. I really do believe when I switched out to this lure, I caught three bass. And I think if I had tied this on from the beginning, we probably would have had more fish today. We were catching them pretty quickly once we figured out this bite. That lure is pretty messed up right here. I was using a Bandito Bug Jr. as a trailer. It's normally tucked up there. It's a little bit down because it got destroyed. That last bass, two pound bass, big one of the day. Definitely messed up that trailer. But it did last three fish. These lures right here, pretty good scent on them. Little Bandito Bug Jr. That color is Summer Craw. I have it on the back of this 3 8 ounce black and blue jig. I believe it's called a Diesel, diesel Jigs football head jig. I got it in a mystery box. Pretty nice jig. I believe I've caught like over five or six bass on this one jig now. I like it a lot. Never really fished the football heads, but you can see it's definitely getting some damage. It's getting some usage out of it. Another jig, since I'll mention it, I did think of tying on this one. This is one of my favorites right here. Where is it? This little six cents hybrid jig, 3 8 ounce. It's like a little crawl pattern. This is another one of my favorites. Look at the head on that. That's how you know I fish it a lot. It's getting chipped on all the rocks down there. Whole lot of bass caught on that one too. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video today. That's definitely a good lure to be thrown in this cold water. It was very cold, very windy. You want to tie on a jig. And I like fishing these with little trailers. Hope you enjoyed the video today, you guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.